Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Doctor, and this is Undertale. So, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yeah, the puffs. Do I need to check everything again? I don't think so. Yeah, that one has a tail. And it's cuter than the rest. Or not. I have full health this time. So it should be easier. Hmm. Back on. You call the greater dog. It bounced towards you. Blacking slobber into your face. Okay. Looks like a burst. Okay, I see. I see. Seeking affection. Pet. Goes up in your lap as it is fed by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. And it wakes up. So excited. Ooh. Crazy dog is patting the ground with its foam poles. Play! You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Crazy dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Our, our dog is very tired, it rests its head on you. Damn it. Crazy dog wants some TLC. What? What is TLC? Pat, as you pet the dog, it thinks it's entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But, you still haven't pet enough. That move is hard. Pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. Great, the dog is contented. You won! Nice! Oh, You're tiny. And cute. And stupid. Okay, I need some health. Oh, that view. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. As a dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Um, well, what's the hold up? Hold up, but hold up. I'm I'm about to activate it now. Um that uh, doesn't look very activated. Well this challenge it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Very good. Thank you. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyar. Gus. Yeah. Hey. Hey? <laughs> I, like, I love that laughter. I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, I understand them perfectly. Don't worry about me. Welcome to Snowdin. Welcome to Snowdin Town. Oh, there's a shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? What can I buy? Tough glove. Mm, I don't need that deck. Manly bandana. It has abs on it. Oh. Easy twice. Bicycle. Mm, cinnamon bun. I kinda want this, I think. Yeah, I can afford it. Thank you for your purchase. No, thank you. Bye now, come again sometime. Okay, a manly bandana. Sell something. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know if I, how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and use bandages, I would be out of business in. 
time at all. I don't know why I didn't read it. Care to chat? Hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Kreosby's uh, has food and the library has information. If you are tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you are bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed off one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're the ghost or can burn one under the door, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? It is. That was quite true. By now, come again sometime. The sight of such friendly town fills you with determination. Save. Okay. Let's see. Use the box? Yes. Oh yeah, this box. Oh, this has a limit as well. Fuck. I mean, I guess... Monster. A boss fight will come, so I'm gonna take two of these. Three. Yeah, could be good. In. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's the maximum HP? Welcome to Snowdin. Snowdin's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Bit awkward, if you ask me. Hiya, yeah. you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back, you can pay me if you are going to stay overnight. Okay, the same thing happens. Hiya, yeah. you look like, yeah. Okay. Wait, can I find anything in this? No. Can I just go up? No. Don't want to walk in to the other side of the town? Try the under snow tunnels, they are efficiently laid out. Whoa. This place is big. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Oh, I think I figured it out. No, never mind. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. He. Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Oath multi installment local monster by decorating his tree like horns. Oh, I saved that monster. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing those things thrown in that monster. I guess, in a way, yeah. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various lockers. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell cause you are wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that be a skeleton is an adult or a kid. I wonder too. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Politics. Very politics. Much politics. Thank you very much. Whoa. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help, I want new drinks. And... Um, hot guys. I guess the bartender's kind of hot. 
Hmm. Isn't even feel different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> and I've heard they have things called bathrooms. Yeah, like what the fuck? Humans are so weird. The jukebox is broken. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I heard they are going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the uh, area of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Yeah, bring them on. We are sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Yes, oh yeah? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of, of love and attention. Oh, the stupid one. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Yes, very much so. Flawless logic. Okay, this dog is kind of special. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. I guess I could ask out Undyne, but I think she likes someone already. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's a no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like Undyne when I grow up too. <laughs> Grub said that he would offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Hmm. And not just touch it, maybe. It's a bit dangerous. For your kind, but who cares? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dre dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I will join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. Yeah. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile of anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Smile, 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 smile. Smile, 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 smile. Hello? Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We are very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong no number. The wrong number song. We are very, very sorry that we got it wrong. What the fuck was that? I'm fascinated. And disturbed. Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world is sure fair boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I will hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah. Ah, okay. What's the idea? What's the idea here? A bit concerning, not much. Just a bit. Library! That look in your eye. You are someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that souls don't need these things to exist. <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That sounds like a dream. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our 
old city home. We braved how cold, damp swampland, and se searing heat. Until we believe that we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Because... Oh, wait. It seems from left to right. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take the dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on it, that thing. Oh. Am I at that page when you me at? I'm kinda sick of writing this. My monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They will never get a bullet button birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, it's definitely will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, mm, let's end the chapter here. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Is it? Oh yeah, it is! Library. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty! But yeah, it's obvious who the other mailbox is. It's logged. It's a log it's logged from the inside. Okay. Looks like a tool shed, so it's a bit weird. Hmm. What is happening? Human? Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle, solving skills. Oh yeah, puzzle solving skills. That's not a dot I'm stupid. The desire to have a cool smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I'm very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocked the way. Blurt. What? Blurting? So you finally revealed your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. Then I can show you. Okay. The virus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no. Let's date later. Okay. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. I'm a virus. Are you sure that's how you're supposed to fight? Papyrus dashed some bone cologne behind his ear. Papyrus attack 20, defense 20, he likes to say nyeh heh heh. Nyeh heh heh. Um. Papyrus dashed marinara sauce behind his ear. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna let him do his thing. Wow, this is very hard. Papyrus devs MTT brand Dishy Cream behind his ear. MTT brand Oliver Powder behind his ear. He doesn't even have an ear. He flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't re escalate this battle. Let's see it later. I don't want to hit him. 
Brand Q Juice. Do I need to hit him? Empty Brand Attraction Slime behind his ear. I'm a bit scared, I don't wanna hit him and potentially kill him. Beauty yogurt, okay. Are you stunned? How much more you want? But I just realized this, he doesn't have ears. Finally. Papyrus whispers, yeah, hey, hey. There's no need to, to lie to yourself. Your worms hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. You flirt but to no avail, okay? That link his balls. I'm gonna be patient. I don't want to murder this moron. Spare. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack. Oh my god. He got me. I'm powerless. Oh, wait, what? You are blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Look. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay. Now we are getting somewhere. Preparing a bone attack. Well, I'm bored. What? I'm not thinking about the dead thing. So good. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I kinda want you to use your special attack. Curious. Okay. The virus is considering his options. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh, that's sneaky. Dying hard to play school. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. No, 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 I fucked it up. Papyrus, Ankaravus, Hagator. What the fuck is that? I've heard that word before. Papyrus is constantly in his options. And I will be really proud of me. Smells like bones. The king will trim a, a hedge in the shape of my smile. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. The virus whispers, yeah. My brother will, well, he won't change much, very much. The virus is dying hard to play school. I will have lots of admirers, but... Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I don't think so. I'm your number one fan from now on. That's what I need to feed you. Ah. Someone like you is really dead. But I also remember the bad jokes and thought he thought this failing. Dating might be kind of hard. After you are captured and sent away. What if I am not captured or sent away? Huh? What about that? 
the time is his cackling. Uh, who cares? Give up. I won't give up. I'm gonna be your lover, Papyrus. Give up or face my special attack. Okay. Somehow I'm not scared. You are not as pathetic as I expected you to be, but even then. Yeah, very soon I will lose my special attack. Okay. Preparing a bone attack. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Let's use it, please. This is getting awkward. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna eat. You ate the monster candy. You recover 10 HP. This is your last chance before my special attack. Yeah, this was, yeah, yeah. Behold, my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I will just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for regular attack. <sighs> he has an absolutely normal attack. Normal my ass! Cool! <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I can keep going! Fuck. Well, this clearly can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, I like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. And now I will just kill him. Oh my god. No, ho, ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. And that's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends? What a loser. Ah, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. I already managed to hit the friend zone. You know that all I needed to make that was, was to give people awful puzzles and then find them. You told me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I will give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you, are, you reach the end of the game. Cover. Then, when you reach the capital, close the barrier. That's the magical seal tap, uh, tapping us all underground. Anything can end and through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamur, can I please go home? He will guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I will be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. I'm gonna come by in the next episode for sure. For now, I'm gonna save. Okay, gonna go back, gonna save, and then I'm gonna end this episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll continue from here next time. Bye.